Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again and looking pretty shit at the moment. I've had some kind of massive reaction around here in particular. And my skin is just... I don't know what's going on with it. Um, so I'm not wearing any makeup. I look pretty shit. And it's kind of hot today and I don't really feel like putting on makeup. And my hair is in a bun and yeah, I'm not looking so crash up. But there you go. So this is going to be um, part one of three part whole because otherwise it would just be too crazy. I have had a bunch of stuff come in from a bunch of online orders and I went to the city the other day with my daughter and and bought some stuff. Most of it's nail polish. This one is not going to be the nail polish one. I'm going to do one that is... Uh, this first part is going to be the non-nail polishy stuff and then there'll be two parts of nail polish because there's literally that many of them. So I will get into the non-nail uh, non polishy stuff. So this one is one of the ones I bought in the city when I was with my daughter because um, it was like about three bucks cheaper than I can get it at Priceline at Target. So because I really like this Australis makeup finishing spritz. Even if it doesn't make my makeup last longer, I like how it smells and how it makes my skin feel. So that's the first one. And during the same shopping trip, I picked up three Essence nail polish, uh, nail polishes, I've got nail polish on the brain, lipsticks. The first one is Love Me. It's a fairly basic nude. And it is that one there. And I got On the Catwalk, which is a darker berry kind of tone. I've not actually tried these Essence lipsticks before. And that's that one right there. They're fairly sheer, like they don't pack a huge amount of pigment. I had to kind of like go over it a couple of times. And the third one is all about Cupcake, which looks very similar in colour to love me except for the fact that this one is more like a balm than a lipstick that's that one there so you can see it's got like almost no color to it really it's more just like a tinted balm so and then in various online orders um most of these were through um, Oz sale and one of them was through the Cosmetics Kitchen, uh, sorry, Cosmetic Capital, which is actually really, really good, especially for lower cost stuff. Um, I can't remember exactly where I bought all of these from, but I'm pretty sure that the Maybelline Total Clean uh, Eye Makeup and Lip Makeup Remover, like designed for long wearing type stuff, it's one of those two phase ones where you have to, don't know if you can see the that line in the middle. It's one of those ones you have to give it a shake before you use it. I um, haven't tried it out, no idea what that one's like. And also I got these two lipsticks. They are from Maybelline's Bold Matte line. So one of them is Matte One. That's a really exciting name, isn't it? Which is a pink um, basically just a standard bright pink colour it is that one there they're not really super matte they've been on my hand for a few minutes and I haven't really matted down completely and the other one is matte 4 which is a red um, orangey red and that is that one there um, and you can see it hasn't actually set down so and that's been on for a little while so I don't know about that I was hoping it would be like less messy if like for bold colors but I don't know but I had heard that a lot of people liked them so I thought I'd try them out we'll see so um, I'm pretty sure all of this stuff came from various Aussale holes. There's probably some other stuff that I've forgotten. Um, 
but with Ozsail you can buy from a whole bunch of different sales and pay one lot of shipping. Um, but you don't get all your order at once, you get it in dribs and drabs, so I've had like three or four orders that will just like come in in dribs and drabs of like one or two things in them. Um, one of them which I haven't showed here was a um, pack of six um, deodorants, like male deodorants, and the other one, I just remembered, which came with this one here, is this hand cream, this is Neroli Clementine Hand and Body Lotion from MOR or MORE, um, and I got another one which is sort of over there, which is um, my daughter's, which is Sugar Rose. And I got this lip macaron, which is basically a lip balm, and I can't remember what fragrance it's supposed to be in. Something orange, I think. Hang on a sec. It's got this big sticker right on the bottom. I haven't opened this one. I can see the word orange, and that's all I can see. Blood orange. Um, yeah, so I'm not actually going to open this because I have other whoop balms open, but that one is in Blood Orange. Um, and then I got a Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Hydrangea Hype. Again, I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to dry out. Not yet, anyway. It's kind of this really soft uh, lilac y shade. Looks real pretty. Um, yeah, so that's those two. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff from I Love, which is that one, you know, like I Love um, strawberries and stuff like that. Um, so I got a lip balm in Minty Choco Chip. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff that came in twin packs, so you got like two of them for the price of one. So there are two body sprays. One of them is in Peachy Passion Fruit. Which very much smells more like peach than passion fruit. And then there was this, this one, which is in Lemon Sorbet. It smells like lemon, um, lemon icy poles. And also in lemon sorbet, I've got this bath and shower cream. Two of those. And then in a slightly bigger size container, which, let's see, I got the minty choco chip body wash. So I've got two of those as well. So that's all those, and that is pretty much everything that I got that was not nail or nail polish stuff. So um, if you want to see the other two parts of my haul, then click down the bottom and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like haul type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.